Uh, what's good, my people, man? This your boy ZTV1990 back with another video. I'm just here to report some more things that's going on in the basketball world. And I'm going to tell everybody what's up with Draymond Green. And if you're wondering why I have the uh, chosen the picture I have for you, I'm going to explain it. Because it's really, really obvious of what's really happening, what's really going on. Because uh, Draymond's been acting very weird over the last two seasons. In between this season last and um, the previous season, he's been really, really weird. Especially since LeBron has came to L.A. We ain't been seeing the same Draymond. You see Draymond hanging out more and more with LeBron off on uh, camera in the offseason. There's videos and pictures of these two hanging out buddy-buddy. It's like Draymond has hang he hangs out more with LeBron and AD and the Lakers than he does with the uh, Steph and um, Clay and the Warriors. But I'm going to explain what's going on because it's obvious. It's really Draymond Green is making it more and more obvious as the days go on. Now, for those who have um, been watching last season with Jordan Poole, this man attacked Jordan Poole for whichever reason during practice. They got into it. He punched, Drain, uh, punched Jordan Poole or slammed or whatever he did, right? And then that ultimately caused um, them to actually trade Jordan Poole in the offseason for uh, Chris Paul, okay? wonder how Chris Paul got there. And I was on record for saying that was a bad, that was a terrible trade. I don't know what Mike Damian Dunleavy was doing. While um before I get back on track, on a side note, Chris Paul does not help. They should have traded. I'll be honest, they should have went and traded for a Jonathan Isaac. Somebody like that, man. Like they need size. But anyways, getting back on track. So yeah, the man got into it with Jordan Poole, which ruined Jordan Poole as a whole because Jordan Poole was the X Factor from that team. One of the main reasons why the Warriors won that championship against Boston. Two seasons ago was because of how effective Jordan Poole was off the bench. Especially when Klay Thompson was out. When Klay Thompson was injured, Jordan Poole became the guy. He became the shooting guard. But Draymond Green ruined that. For whichever reason, right? Getting pissed off. So I'm going somewhere with this. Now fast forward to this season. We see this man choking Rudy Gobert out, which he didn't have to do. Going behind Rudy Gobert wasn't even necessary because that play was already over. Yeah, the Warriors got into it with the T-Wolves, but you didn't have to choke, go behind uh, Rudy Gobert and choke him. So they suspended him five games for choking Rudy Gobert because, again, it was unnecessary. Because, again, you got to let the refs do their job. This is exactly what he did with LeBron in the finals. When LeBron stepped over, he overreacted. Draymond Green overreacted, so they suspended him five games. But now... Fast forward to last night, or the previous night, the Warriors are playing against the uh, Phoenix Suns, and Yusuf Nurkic had recently been acquired by the Phoenix Suns uh, in free agency or a trade because he's no longer in, uh, in uh, Portland no more. When Portland got rid of, when Portland uh, traded Damian Lillard to the East in Milwaukee, Nurkic uh, left too. So, yeah, Yusuf Nurkic, who is now a Phoenix Suns center, was I guess guarding on uh, Draymond defensively. And um, Yusuf Nurkic was behind him. And Draymond overacted and did a, a swinging uh, lariat and hit uh, uh, Yusuf Nurkic in the head to the point that uh, Yusuf Nurkic was knocked out for a couple of minutes. I guess he had a, uh, a small concussion. Now, I didn't watch the whole game, but uh, you could, you could see Yusuf Nurkic had to sit down. Now, after the game, Yusuf Nurkic said that he don't know what's, what's going on with Draymond. He don't know what's up. And Draymond said this, that he normally don't apologize, but he'll apologize now but for his actions. So let me just be frank, and I'm just going to be very quite clear. We're basically seeing the end of the uh, Warriors dynasty. It's basically over. Draymond Green don't want to be there no more. And I believe what it was, Draymond tried to get out of there. He tried to force... Uh, this is what I believe. This is my opinion. Because, again, Draymond is acting weird. Now, remember, when before LeBron came to the Lakers, he came to L.A., when uh, LeBron was on the Cavaliers, we seen a different Draymond. Draymond was more fired up and more determined then. And, yeah, take it, he was a lot younger than he is now. It was a different Warriors team. You know, these are the days when they had uh, Durant coming over. 
And even before Durant, the team had went seven three and nine, right? Two back to back NBA Finals. Uh, Steph was two time league MVP. It was it was they was uh straight. They were solid. But ever since LeBron came to LA and they won that championship, we've been seeing Draymond act very differently. And it started when he's been on um, LeBron James' show on HBO called The uh, Shop or The Barbershop Show. He put together with, uh, I think he had, he had Draymond, Candace Owens coming through all these celebrities on there, right? You see Draymond on multiple episodes. And then you just see um, last year or two years ago, you see uh, there's a post Draymond hanging out with LeBron at clubs, right? At lounges. I believe Draymond wanted the Lake wanted the Warriors to trade him to the Lakers. But see, the, the thing about Golden State, Golden State didn't want to trade him over to a Western Conference rival. Remember, this is a team that just beat Golden State in the playoffs, just in the semifinals, just last season. You see, uh, Mike Dunleavy Jr. and Bob Myers feel that Draymond going to the Lakers will only hurt the Warriors more so than he is helping them because of how effective Draymond Green's defense is. Cause yeah, even though Draymond lacks offense, he don't have that same offense no more. Draymond can still get rebounds. He can still defend properly. But LeBron would love to have Draymond over there. I'm going to just keep it real. LeBron wants Draymond to come over. I believe what's what else. LeBron James been talking. He wants to, Draymond wants to be a Laker. Because real talk, if Draymond was on the Lakers, like let's say if he would have got traded to the Lakers in the summertime, and let's say the Warriors would have got back Hachimura, a Mo Bama and another guard or like a draft pick, things would have been much different. Draymond wouldn't be punching nobody. That attack he uh, he put on uh, Yusuf Nurkic would have never happened. And then you see, and then he's seen the Lakers win this end season tournament. He's feeling some type of way. Yeah, Draymond might have signed that extension, but because he wants his money. But Draymond wants to be traded to Lakers, and the Warriors won't do it. But see, the Warriors ain't going public with it. That's the thing. They're not going public with it. They told him, we're not trading you to the Lakers. Now, you see what uh, how Portland did Damon Lillard. Damon Lillard wanted to go to Miami Heat, and they instead trade him to the Marquee Bucks. And that was the that was the Heat's fault. But you see what that... What I, and I only bring up Damon Lillard because things don't always go these players' way. The management ain't going to trade you to where they want to trade you because you're on the contract. When it comes to a, a player getting traded, everybody not going to be doing what Harden did. See, the... the the Clippers had assets to give Philly that Daryl Morey wanted. Daryl Morey wanted K.J. Martin, uh, Robert Covington, who was originally drafted a, a 76er. And the man wanted uh, Batum and all those draft picks, which is working. It's actually turned out not to be a bad draft pick. Plus, uh, Harden, like I said in, in, the, uh, in a previous video, he has reasons for not wanting to be with Daryl Morey no more. Daryl Morey didn't give him the money he wanted. He felt betrayed by Daryl Morey. But it's help, it's working out for both teams because Philly is number is, is a top seeded team in the East, and the Clippers are starting to win more games. But Draymond's situation ain't the same. See, the Warriors really need Draymond to stay because he's part of the championship core. Him, along with the Splash Brothers, Stephen Clay, and Kevon Looney, that's part. That's the championship core. And now you add Wiggins, he's, that that's part of the core. Once Draymond gone. The dynasty is basically over. Like, there's no more Warriors. The Warriors basically lose their identity, in my opinion. Because even Klay Thompson, Klay Thompson is starting to decline, like, drastically. Klay is not the same guy anymore, especially after those injuries. That man was injured for two years. And this season is Klay Thompson's worst season. And I was telling my uh, my friend Marcus, my homie, I'm like, bro, what would, why would y'all want Klay Thompson to be traded to the Lakers when you already have Austin Reeves? Now, Draymond to the Lakers makes perfect sense because he's, he's another power forward they can use. He, they need him. He gives them more defense and more depth. Imagine Draymond with LeBron James, Austin Reeves, AD, and you have D'Lo, along with uh, where well, you got uh, you got Gabe Vincent from Miami, and you still got, uh, yeah, you still got, what was it? Um, I think you still got Dennis Schroeder, if I'm not mistaken. Schroeder's still over there. Yeah, you you still got all that. You still all, got all those guys. You got Cam Reddish now. Oh yeah, with well, Draymond Green, the Lakers is for sure getting to the finals. See, Draymond knows the Warriors are pretty much declining. And then and another thing, man, them I, I believe another thing too is them trading for Chris Paul. Cause I'm be honest, man, Draymond Green don't fit with Chris Paul. I'm sorry, man, he's not Blake Griffin. 
Draymond Green been enjoying himself beating Chris Paul all this time, even when Chris Paul was on the Rockets. Draymond Green did not want them trading for Chris Paul neither. That's another reason why this man don't want is frustrated too. Mike Dunlavy Jr. is already making too many bad decisions because the Warriors need centers. They need more big men. Draymond has got to do too much defensively. I mean, yeah, you got Kuimba and Kevon Looney, but they're not seven footers. They had James Wiseman. They traded. They let him go. So Dray Draymond's frustrated. Running that small ball. And, he, he, and, and another thing, too, and notice, even in the playoffs, Draymond Green did not play the same way against LeBron. There was no passion. Him trying to go head-to-head -head with LeBron, that, that wasn't the same last year. I noticed that. Draymond was a no-show in most of those games in the series. The only reason why the Warriors were able to win, like, I think was it like two games against uh, the Lakers, is because of Steph Curry. And Steph Curry's ability to shoot the basketball and be that effective on or off the ball. But it wasn't because of Draymond. Draymond didn't really care, man. Draymond, you can see it. Draymond did not play with the same urgency against LeBron, even in the uh, playoffs. This is why the Warriors lost. Now, Draymond Green is making it real obvious where his allegiances lie. He's a, a clutch sports client. Now, Clutch Sports, along with LeBron, there's like three, four other uh, players from Clutch Sports that are over there. Yeah, that's what, that's what Draymond, Draymond wants to play amongst Austin Reeves. He wants to play against Cam Reddish. He wants to play amongst uh, AD and LeBron. That's what we want. Him and LeBron are buddies. They done become best friends. And I'm not capping about none of this. You can could, you could fact check this if you want to. It's off the go. Matter of fact, why don't y'all type in on YouTube, Draymond Green and LeBron James at a club or hanging out. You, you're going to see it. So yeah, he's in spit. So uh, as of right now, Draymond Green suspended suspended indefinitely after attacking Jokic. The league and had it. Alvin Silver ain't playing no more. Yeah, he's suspended. And I guess uh, for Draymond to get back into the league, he got to go through counseling. He has requirements he has to go through. They're doing the same thing they did for uh, with uh, Kyrie Irving, even though Kyrie Irving's situation was much different and really wasn't fair. No, this man deserved to get suspended. Yeah, Draymond does deserve to get suspended, man. Like, like, come on now. You already attacked Rudy Gobert. Now this is just, that's two incidents in the beginning of the year. Like, we not even in February. We not in February or March. We not even halfway into the season yet, and Draymond's already gotten to two altercations. Well, actually three. Yeah, because the attack on Jordan Poole, that's three. That's three in this entire year. He attacked a teammate that was really unnecessary because if he has a problem with Jordan Poole, he could have walked away. Or they could sell it in uh in Bob Myers' office privately. You could have had a conversation with Poole. You're not the punch to do, especially when Jordan Poole helped this team win uh, win a championship. It was very effective against the uh Boston Celtics and win those playoff games. He didn't have to do that. This was the same Jordan Poole that came through when they played against Dallas. But no, I believe Draymond told the team he wants to get traded to the Lakers, and they said no. Blatantly. They figured Draymond signed that contract. He's there to stay long term, like Stephen Clay, because Stephen Clay is in it. Like, we already know Stephen ain't leaving Golden State. He, he's there to retire. Stephen Curry is pretty much they Kobe Bryant, or Magic Johnson, if you will. He was drafted a warrior. He's going to remain a warrior. Now, Clay Thompson may be gone. And Trey Deadline, they may find a uh, place for Klay Thompson. And no, the Lakers are not going to draft. They're not going to trade for uh, Klay Thompson. They have their guards. They got plenty of guards. They're not going to draft another guard. They have their guards. Austin Reeves is, is a franchise shooting guard, so they're not going to get Klay. The Lakers have no room for Klay. They don't need him. And plus, you still got D'Lo uh, over there, too. No, they don't, they don't need him. I don't know why people keep saying they want Klay Thompson. Like, why? No, the Lakers would rather have Draymond Green. Even though Draymond Green suspended, Genie Buss and Rob Palenka are gonna still want him. I believe I, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if LeBron and probably told Rob Palenka and Genie Buss a strategy on how to get Draymond. When trade deadline comes around, do not be shocked or surprised if you see Draymond Green's name being brought up. The Lakers are making a move to, to trade for him. Because knowing LeBron and Rich Paul, they're going to find a way to get Draymond's suspension lifted right sooner than later. And it's going to be just like when the Clippers uh, in the uh, in the 76ers talk. 
Rob Palenka, Jeannie Buss, LeBron gonna find a way to persuade Mike Dunleavy Jr. and Bob Myers to get Draymond. And I expect either Hachimura, or if they don't trade Hachimura, they're gonna trade definitely Mo Bama, a, a, a reserve player. And, and like I said, like it, it's gotta be another four. For Draymond Green's contract, they gotta make it. They gotta make it worth it. See, they gonna they gonna throw some money in there too. The money that a lot of these play, like Drake, like LeBron going LeBron will give up the money he won. Like LeBron would donate that, what was that, fifty thousand? He'll donate that fifty thousand to the Lakers so they could get Draymond over. Yeah, that fifty thousand LeBron would LeBron knowing him, this team, they they one that fifty grand they're gonna donate. They're gonna give I got a feeling they're gonna give Gold State not only the fifty thousand, part of the fifty thousand that they won for each player, one of them gonna uh, sacrifice their contract. They're gonna give they're gonna give the Golden State Warriors money. They can add to their salary cap, or yeah, money they can add to the luxury tax. Two players, a draft pick for Draymond Green. And I said it's gonna be it's gonna be somebody over there. Vanderbilt, maybe. But yeah. And it's gonna be it's gonna be some big man. The Lakers got big men they can basically trade. And matter of fact, let me uh let me look at the Lakers roster. Because the Lakers actually got players. They got players that they could they could actually uh trade. Now Max Christian, they're gonna probably keep him. AD, they definitely gonna keep. Um, uh, yeah, I'll say yeah. Hachimura gonna be gone. The war the war is D Hachimura. Yeah, it, it's gonna it's gonna be uh, somebody like Hachimura, Jackson Hayes. And possibly um Maxwell Lewis or somebody like that. But yeah, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna definitely trade it with a big man. Uh, excuse me, yeah, Obama's not there no more, but yeah, they're gonna trade away somebody. Of course, Christian Wood, the Lakers gonna keep. But yeah, somebody like Hachimura, because he's a power forward, they're gonna trade Hachimura and Colin uh Castleton, one of them. And maybe like another guard. Like a Jackson, they or maybe maybe like another guard, another small couple of guard that they don't use because they already got Gabe Vincent. Yeah, Gabe Vincent backs up DeAndre Russell. You got you got Reeves, who's a uh, franchise shooting guard. Yeah, they can give a guard. Yeah, they're gonna probably give him Jalen Hood, Skin Fino, a Colin Caston, and then a Rui Hachimura. Yeah, that's what they're gonna probably do. In exchange for Draymond Green, because Draymond Green is like worth three, three of them players, and they'll probably throw in money in a draft pick. So yeah, the Lakers got players that they can trade. Who the Warriors will actually need? Because Warriors need another. They need Hachimura. Hachimura could play the four or the five, and then you get that 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 other um uh, center I mentioned, right? Get him. Yeah, they they'll be straight. The Warriors need size anyway. But yeah, that's that's my prediction. Rich Paul, LeBron James. Along with Genie and Rob Planker, they go, they're gonna come up with a way to get Draymond off the Warriors' hands. They're gonna they're gonna ride him. He don't want to be there. We'll take him. Right? Despite how much of trouble he is, we'll deal with him. And they'll, they'll like I said, the Lakers gonna try to get give back equal trade. Rob Planker and Genie might actually do that. Cause Draymond Green is making it very clear he's not happy in Golden State. And once Draymond Green is gone, that's it for, for the Warriors. The Warriors dynasty is already coming to a close anyway. The championship they won against Boston, that's it for them. And I'm, I'm, I'm on record saying this already on this channel. Either this channel or my other channel. The Warriors are done. I don't see Steph winning another championship. Unless the Warriors develop some more talent like it did with Jordan Poole over the last three seasons during COVID. Right? And uh, Anthony Williams can become a Hall of Famer. And he started, his point average started boosting up and he started averaging 25 and more like the number shy Gilgis Alexander is getting with OKC unless that happens right and Hachimura could become that 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 X factor and they could find him another big man I don't see it happen like Warriors are just done like it, it, I don't see it man yeah Steph gonna be Steph don't get me wrong now Steph's still the best point guard in his league without a doubt he's one of the greatest point guard in NBA history he's, he's still Steph gonna still be Steph as a captain of that team, but Clay Thompson might be traded. Because Clay Thompson is declining. He ain't the same guy no more. Now I could definitely see the Warriors trading Clay Thompson for some, for another younger um uh, forward. 
Like, for example, DeMar DeRozan, I can see that happening too. Yes, yeah, the Splash Brothers, but again, like, it's just, it's, they, they're not going to be able to compete. It's bad enough you got Chris Paul, because Chris Paul going to retire. He's stuck. Nobody, no team is going to want Chris Paul. I'm going to just be honest. That's why, uh, I don't know why Phoenix decided if go. I don't know why the Warriors even. I don't know why Wizards even decided to um decide to even get Chris Paul in the first place. I still don't understand that. To life of me, don't understand why they exchanged back Chris Paul from the uh, Phoenix Suns. We could have got somebody else, but that's besides. That's neither here or there. Yeah, um, Chris Paul was already a terrible trade. That man is going to be 38, 39 years old. He can't help nobody. Yeah, the Warriors got to start over again from scratch. Like, the Warriors are better off taking to get a first-round draft pick. They need a first-round draft pick. Like, with Draymond Green, the Warriors could get back a draft pick. At least one or two draft picks. Yeah, like I said, Rui Hachimura, maybe two draft picks in a the center. They'll get that back easily. The Warriors are in need of draft picks. They got to develop another a brand new team. Because they, they're not going to compete no more. Yeah, it, this is the end of the Warriors dynasty. And Steph, honestly, man, like, Klay Thompson don't got much. Klay Thompson only got maybe three more years left because he's not the same guy. He's declining. Steph could probably play till he's around maybe 37. Because he's 35 now. Yeah, Steph could play till he's around 37, 38 years old. But remember, Steph keeps getting hurt too. Steph has a lot of injuries. Every for multiple years now, Steph have had, Steph Curry had to go through surgeries that continues to affect him. And even now, man, if you see where the Warriors are ranked, they're below. They ranked at I think uh, eleven or twelve. They're right where the uh, where the Clippers was two weeks ago. But the Clippers been winning games. The Clippers are right behind the uh, the war. Yeah, they're right behind the Lakers as the standings currently. The Lakers are a sixth seed. With Draymond Green, the Lakers boost up. The Lakers become at least a third or a second. But yeah, the Lakers are a sixth seed. The Clippers are right behind them. But Warriors are sitting at 11th. They under, they, they're under, um, they like two games behind um, Houston. Now they got the Clippers on Thursday, which they might lose. I'm going to be very honest. With Draymond Green out, the, the Warriors are definitely going to lose this, that game. The Clippers got, not only do they got Zubox, you got Daniel Tice, which has been very big for them. The Clippers got their lineup. And now you're going against James Harden that got all this help around him. Yeah, I don't see the Warriors beating the Clippers. Not this time. With Draymond Green's defense gone, that's it. Yeah, Draymond Green going to be out for a while. He ain't coming back anytime soon. But like I said, I expect Draymond Green back by trade deadline. A little bit before then. Yeah, the Lakers going to try to find a way to get him. Because that man, I believe the I believe the Warriors didn't go public either. They done told Draymond, no, you're not, we're not trading you to the Lakers. We're gonna trade you to another team. I believe they want to trade Draymond over to the Eastern Conference. Because the Bulls, like I said, DeRozan, DeRozan is, is, is DeRozan, even Zach Levine. If the Warriors could get a Zach Levine, that might help. Because Zach Levine will replace Jordan Poole. Or even DeRozan, man. If they get DeRozan, because DeRozan could play the two, three, or the four if you need him to. I can see DeRozan, right? DeRozan with Andrew Wiggins and Steph and Clay. That could possibly work out too. But I believe that there's some there's some um there's some players that they're looking at. And they're gonna try to they're gonna trade Draymond to the Eastern Conference, which he don't want to be at. So yeah, Draymond is just frustrated overall. It's just like it's it's even like I said, Chris Paul, that the fact that they're losing more games than they should be, he's he's frustrated, he's mad. Because I believe Draymond Green wants to get at least five championships. He wants one more title. And then you see that the Lakers didn't win it, they made it to the Western Conference Finals. Oh, yeah. He would love to have a season with LeBron. So that's why you... So now you you getting the gist of it. Again, I'm letting all my subscribers, everybody know. And shouts out to my new subscribers, by the way. I'm letting everybody know what's, what's up. I can see Draymond Green... Going to the um, Lakers. Either this season or definitely next season. He's going to try to get over there. But again, like there's no, there's no excuse for hitting um, Nurkic like that. So yeah, he does deserve to be suspended. That's been justified. 
And yeah, y'all ever noticed too? Now, I told y'all about Josh Giddy in my previous video. In one of my previous videos, I told you how they handling Josh Giddy. Notice they quick to suspend Draymond. Oh, they on top of it. You didn't heard Adam Silver. They on top of Draymond real quick. But nobody's talking about what, what uh, Josh Giddy's uh, potential punishment could be. Especially since his, uh, the parents of the underage girl that he's alleged had a relationship with has hired Gloria Allred as the attorney to represent them. I just find that very interesting. But that's a video for another um, day. But yeah, Draymond Green is going to be a Laker pretty soon. It may be sooner than later. And I'll be honest, at this point, you might Dylan Jr., you might as well break this team up anyway. Because Draymond Green represents uh, Joe Lacob. Joe Lacob is gone. I'll be honest, Joe Lacob basically has retired from the NBA. I don't see Joe Lacob coming back. That's it. You know, Draymond, that, that's, that was the Joe Lacob era. That was, the, that, was those, that, that was those days. When the Warriors was in the championship in the finals, them four or five years in a row, that was his, that was his Warriors. But now that that's no longer there. He's no longer the GM. If you Mike Dunleavy Jr., you want to um, build this team the way you want to build it. And I don't see Draymond Green and Mike Dunleavy Jr.'s future. I really don't. Now, Chris Paul already going to be gone already. He only got a year on this contract. That's going to be gone. Steph going to be reigning there. And if I'm Mike Dunleavy Jr., I'll trade Clay. I'll just be honest. I'll see what I can get for Clay. I'll try to I'll try to exchange Clay for um, DeMar DeRozan. Because DeRozan would love to come back out to California. I'll get him before the Clippers try to get him. Because DeMar DeRozan, well, my Clippers, DeMar DeRozan will replace Batum. Yeah, there's teams that want DeRozan. Yeah, trade Draymond for uh, Zach Levine, one of them. Yeah, I can see them going for that. But yeah, Draymond don't like it. So that's why Draymond did it. It's all strategic. You got to say, man, a lot of these NBA players do things out of strategy. I told you how James Harden got himself out of uh, Philadelphia. When these players don't want to be somewhere and they feel stuck, they're going to find a way to get out of here. So, yeah, I, I believe Draymond Green don't want to be a Warrior no more. And he wants to be a Laker with LeBron James. If I believe if Draymond had his way, he would he would have signed with the Lakers. The only reason why he, he I believe he got that, he signed an extension with the Warriors because he wanted his money. Now it was all about the money. And at the time, the Lakers didn't have the assets. I believe Rob Palenka was happy with the team they already had that got them to the Western Conference Finals. That's what that was. But no, I believe the Warriors does not do not want to trade Draymond over to the Lakers. But Draymond wants to go. So that's the, I think that's what this is really about. The Warriors don't want to do what Draymond wants them to do. And now he's mad as hell. He's pissed off. He thought attack of Joy Poole would get him traded. That didn't work. He tried to attack Rudy Gobert. That still didn't work. So he, he, he taking a chance with three strikes. Good luck to him. But to be all honestly, man, if I'm like Dylan Jr., it's just time to split this team up anyway. Yeah, Draymond's uh, step of clay, it's just time to break them up. And this is not like when you had uh, Duncan, uh, Ginobili, and um, Parker. It's not those days. Those were old school players. Those guys were comfortable already he was. And plus, you know, Draymond Green's vocal. You know, the reason why um, Duncan Ginobili and uh, Tony Parker, that big three lasted as long as they did because they, those guys were comfortable. They were happy. They were there to stay long term. Those players didn't want to um, go out in free agency and test the market. But Draymond, oh, no, he's different. Draymond represents this new generation of players. They want to go where they feel they're, they're happy at. They don't want to stay loyal. Nobody stays loyal like that no more. This new generation, they, they, it's, it, they're, they're different. They go wherever their buddies are. Again, this is no different when uh, James Harden decided to uh, get traded to Clippers. Why? Because he's best friends. He's cool with uh, with Paul George and Russell Westbrook. Like, Russ and James Harden are buddies, even off camera. They've been friends for a long time. Even before the, uh, the OKC days when they got drafted. So that's what that really was. I told you about James. Draymond, yeah, he, he wants to be with his new best friend, LeBron. But that's it, y'all. That's the video. So I hope that 
uh, shed some light on what I think, in my own opinion, what's going on. I know everybody got their opinions on this. You know, everybody got their, uh, what they think is going on with Draymond. No, Draymond did everything on purpose. It was, this was all strategic. Now, it sucks for uh, Rudy Gobert and, y and Yerkes. They got to suffer, but yeah. It's all strategy. Y'all stay blessed.